Um, don't mind my socks. I, they're, they're minion themed. It's fine. Oh, oh my gosh. Okay, I almost just fell off of my ottoman, but it's fine. Hey friends, it's Ash. Welcome back to a brand new video on my channel. It is super, super hot in this room. I don't know why. It's also really gross outside, and I just had to run out twice to give my roommate a calculator and a pencil for her final, so shout out to you, Gabby, for making me do that, but I still love you. Anyways, so today I'm going to be talking about my life here at college and at Drexel because I know Drexel decisions, um, well, at this moment in time, they're coming out like really soon, but when this video is uploaded, they're most likely already going to be out for early action. I remember when I was in your shoes and I was really curious about the school and just like everything about it. So here I am just telling you guys what it's like from a student's perspective. Before we get started, I just want to say, if you're new here, hello, welcome. Be sure to hit subscribe somewhere down below. Give this video a like and follow me on Instagram. So yeah, I just posted on my Instagram story um, to send me questions about Drexel or college in general, and I will just be answering them, so yeah. Okay, so the first question is, who is your favorite food truck right now? Um, if you don't know, Philly in general, especially at Drexel, there are so many food trucks around and it's not like shady. I mean, some of them are a little shady, but there are a lot of good food trucks around for like eating options and all that. My current favorite food truck right now is the Filipino food truck because I love Filipino barbecue so much and the guy there is super nice. Like he knows my order by heart already. So yeah, if you come here, be sure to check him out. The next question is, how do you manage your financial needs versus when you were in high school? So my parents and I have like this agreement that they send me like an allowance per month and my budget is like 200 to 300 dollars. Like if I get really tired of the dining hall food and I want to treat myself, I use that money. So that's just what I would say. Like just be sure to budget your money. And I also have like this note on all of the um, expenditures that I've had throughout the month. I would just say make a budget for yourself keep track of how much money you spend and don't spend your money on useless things that you won't need but yeah i mean it's a lot different from when we were in high school because like i was living at home and i didn't really need to worry about running out of money the next question is how is college different from high school um there are so many reasons why college is different from high school which may be a good thing or bad thing depending on how you view it but i personally really love being in college a lot more than high school. I like the independence that I have because you need to really learn how to manage your time. I just really like how I get to choose what I do with my time and I get to decide my life <laughs> basically. And Philly is a lot more eventful than where I'm from back at home. There's always something to do and I really love that about college. What kind of food is offered at Drexel's dining halls? So Drexel has three main dining halls. There's Hans, the Hot Trooper Dining Center. There's Urban Eatery and Northside Dining Terrace. So Hans is like buffet style and normally they have different stations. I recommend going there for breakfast because their omelets there they're pretty good, I gotta say. But yeah, that takes meal swipes. Um, the next is Urban Eatery, and they have downtown grounds, which is like for coffee and tea and pastries. Um, Green Street, I think that's what it's called. That's like our salad bar. And then there's the Vespa, which is like pastas and bowls. Um, and then there's a vegetarian place. There's Ignite in the back, which is like sandwiches, barbecue, all that. Um, and then in the back of Urban, they have this like rotating station. So every week it's something different, which I personally like to go to just because it like mixes it up. And then the third place to eat on campus is Northside. And that place takes dining dollars, not meal swipes. So just be careful of that because you have a limited amount of dining dollars every term. But they have Chick-fil-A, a Chinese food place, and Subway in there. And they have like a grocery store. Um, those places are really good, I gotta say. That's why I'm switching my meal plan to have more dining dollars because I have not been able to go there recently because I'm low on dining dollars. So yeah, that's just kind of the food that they have here um, in the dining halls that's like on the meal plan, but there are other places around campus to eat. You just have to spend like actual money. The next question is, what are the dorms like here? Um, each dorm is pretty different, I will say, and each dorm has a reputation. 
Um, I can really only speak for North because I live here, but I really like North. The spaces are really big. Um, we have our own individual rooms, but then we have like our kitchen and our living room. So I don't know, it's like living in an apartment and it's great. I've also been inside like some of the traditional style dorms, like towers. Um, that's the place where you go to on the tours. And the rooms there are actually pretty big for a traditional style. Communal bathrooms just really aren't my thing. So I don't live there, but I would say if you're gunning for a suite, definitely go north or race. And for traditional, go with like towers because they're like the nicest traditional dorm, I think. The next question is, do I like my program? I really do like my program. Um, if you don't know, I'm in the music industry program and I'm on the business track. There are two tracks that you can go on. The other one is like ramp, like music production, recording arts, all that. I really like my program so far. I've met a lot of great people in there and the classes itself have been pretty basic because I'm only in my first quarter but they're gonna get more specific as I go along, which I'm really excited for. But yeah, everyone in my program is super chill. I have a lot of good friends there, and overall, I feel like the workload for my program at least is very easy, which is good. It'll probably get harder as I go along, but for now, I've been chilling. Next question is, what clubs are you in? When I first came to college, I was like super stressed out that I wasn't joining anything. So I joined like a bunch and now I'm super stressed out because I'm in too much. So um, yeah, don't do that. Don't make that mistake. <laughs> right now I'm officially in my sorority, Alpha Sigma Alpha, um, Mad Dragon Music Group. I'm like their intern there. I am in Flux, which runs like sound, like live sound for different shows on campus, which is super cool. I get to work with the board. And yeah, that's really it. My explanation for this kind of goes along with the last question and it's, do you find it hard to balance your time? At first, yes, but now I'm, I've gotten the hang of it, I think. College is so different from high school because in high school you have like this set block of time just for going to classes, but in college it's different because your Monday schedule is not gonna be the same as your Tuesday schedule or your Friday schedule. You really just need to know like, when will you be in class? When will you have free time to do your homework? When do you have club meetings? And when can you just relax and chill? And that's a really important part because the burnout is so real. I like write all of the things that I have to work on for the day. I make like to-do lists. Yeah, it's gonna take a little bit getting used to, but personally, I don't find it hard to manage my time anymore just because I've developed a system which will definitely happen for you, so do not worry. <laughs> the next question is, is college life difficult? I would say no, but at the same time, it's different for everyone. And I just think college life is what you make of it. You know, if you're not staying on top of your classes, you're not doing your work, you're not going out there and getting involved, then yeah, it will be hard for you in many aspects. But like, if you can be diligent with your schoolwork, you're involved in things, you'll make a lot of friends, and it'll be great because that's what I do and I really love living in college right now. The next question is, are the buildings safe? I would say yes um, because like some buildings are super extra and you have to scan your ID like three times to make sure you're a Drexel student. Overall, yeah, you need your ID to scan into every single building. It's only accessible to students. Um, there are a bunch of security guards everywhere and also around on campus like we have a bunch of security We have you know Philly police um, And we have like those Blue stand things where if you like press it then you can get an escort at night if you feel uncomfortable Yeah, overall, I feel like our campus is pretty safe. Just obviously be smart, you know What is there to do off campus? Dude, there's so much to do off campus right now. Like it's Philly. It's a city and I, I guess that like differs depending on where you go to school, but at least at Drexel, there's a lot. The next question is, how do you make friends in college? I would say just like getting involved and also just like talking to people, especially in those first couple of weeks, like everyone's trying to make friends. So if you go up to someone and you're just introduce yourself, they'll probably talk to you back. They won't think you're weird. And who knows, you might become friends. I would say like just join things that you're really passionate about and then you'll find other people that are passionate about it and then bada bing bada boom, you're like friends. My roommate Emma, she's in Drexel Democrats. She's really passionate about politics and she met other people that are passionate about it. So meeting people is super easy as long as you're active about it and your social life in college is what you make of it. 
The next question is, what do you like most about college? Um, I kind of said this before, but I like being independent. I like managing my own time. I mean, I just like that if I want to go out at 12.30 to buy cookies, I can. No one will stop me. I did that this week and um, it was great. I had a great time. <laughs> the last question that I'm going to answer is, do you have any tips for incoming college freshmen next year? I would just say, regardless of where you go, make the most of your time. Like, college is supposed to be super fun, but you're also supposed to, like, learn important stuff that you need in life. So, pay attention to your classes, stay on top of your schoolwork, get involved, and you'll have a great time. You'll be meeting a lot of people, and you'll be learning a lot of new life skills that you might not have learned at home. Um, so that was all of the questions that I'm gonna answer. Thank you guys for sending in stuff. And yeah, hopefully this helped to give a little perspective on what my life is like here at college and what Drexel is like as a school. Thank you guys for watching. If you made it to this point in the video, you are a very good human. And I'll see you in my next one. Bye.